And, you know, many of us question why didn't police do something sooner when there were red flags on social media, like Maine JKL, who says same thing with the Parkland shooter, multiple threats, FBI reports, other red flags, but nobody actually did something. Authorities in Maryland say they were not aware of the suspect's social media history until last night after the shooting. And here's why. I'll say this again. We lost a great tool with Geophedia a couple years ago. It was the national conscience that decided that we weren't going to be able to use it. It made our job a lot easier as it relates to following things, phrases, areas on social media. Now, you might be asking, what is Geophedia? It is a social media analytics company that helped ID user locations on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram in real time by using images, keywords, and hashtags. Well, that was until 2016. The ACLU in Northern California released a report targeting Geophedia for using social media posts to put protesters and activists under digital surveillance. Well, a major concern was it could be used as an arrest tool to target minority communities. And soon after that, Facebook and Instagram terminated Geophedia's access to their information, and then Twitter soon followed behind. Now, some critics say restricted access to social media monitoring tools could compromise public safety. But on the other hand, more restrictions means more privacy for us.